Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Alpha Omega Occasionally. This is a kind of a personal kind of video. It's a video that I haven't done before. Um, and I suppose you could say for obvious reasons. You don't want to wash your dirty linen in public and stuff like that. But this is more of a informative video about what I, what my life is like here. The real deal. I'm not talking about ranting about this, that and the other of aspects of life in Thailand. I'm talking about my life in Thailand. I'm lucky enough to be married to a wonderful, wonderful Thai girl. And I'll, I'll say this. She is of similar age to me. I'm 59. I'm not going to give her age away. But she's two or three, sorry, four or five years within my age range. And that's crucial for me that's crucial it could be different for you but for me it's crucial um because you're at the same stage of your life and it's obvious that the, the benefits of marrying someone in your own age group now there are obviously benefits of marrying someone who is much younger than you or maybe much older than you but really if you want your relationship to succeed especially here in thailand speaking from the perspective of of thailand um you see, number one, you've got culture against against you because you're not, it's a different culture. So you've got the cultural aspects against you, you've got the language against you, you've got lots of bits and pieces that you're not necessarily used to, like you're not playing on home turf. So when you have a wife of your own age, it that's the first box ticked, let's say, when it comes to relationships. It's a good place to be. But you see, my wife doesn't speak English very well she speaks english she does she understands a fair bit of it she can she can um she can read to a certain degree in english and write to a certain degree in english but when it comes to emotional conversation um and let's say intimate conversation it doesn't it doesn't exist now that's probably more to do with personalities as it is to do with language but you see if you don't speak the language fluently and your partner doesn't speak, well, you don't speak Thai fluently and your Thai partner doesn't speak English fluently. How are you going to touch base with them on an intimate level? And that's one of the things that has, that affects, that affects me in my relationship with my wife, who I deeply love. And I have a wonderful son. And by the way, Harry, my son, you're used to him if you're a regular viewer to this channel. He's fluent or native English and native speaking Thai as well. And it's good to have him. Obviously, it's good to have him. But when it comes to your emotional needs, you need to offload. You need to converse. Maybe some people don't. But I, I, I don't necessarily need to have someone to converse with and to tell my deepest, darkest secrets to and fears and you know whatever. I don't necessarily need that, but it's good to have it. And I can tell you, I have two good friends in Thailand. One is a guy, he's about 47, he's Thai and he's fluent English. Um, another um, is a, a girl, she's a very good friend of mine. She's 36 and she's fluent in English. And I get on very well with both of them. And I have regular conversations with both of them. Um, not too regular, but regular enough. And that's what keeps me clued in. To what's going on around me here, especially living in the condo. They both live in the same condo. By the way, if I'm sweating, it, I am sweating. It's because I turned off the fan for this because it, it, the, the the wind noise would just be too much for the microphone when it, it interfere with your enjoyment of the video. But to be able to have a friend that you can you can confide in, that's it. I'm very very lucky, as I said, to be married to a wonderful woman. But when it comes to confiding in someone it doesn't really in my relationship it doesn't really exist now again that's a personal thing i won't go into too much detail on that but that's a fact but for you if you're thinking or if you're here already i mean i'd be interested to know what your relationship is with your wife maybe you found your soulmate maybe it's all wonderful and great and everything you've ever dreamt of um but if you haven't got that deep intimate um, understanding between you and th there's a lot of aspects of my married life where there's misunderstanding because of language and because of culture um, I'll give you examples of this like raising your voice my wife is very 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 traditional 
and even speaking at this level with the the screen that's a, a mosquito screen there the door is open if she was to walk in now she would she'd be able to hear me from a few meters up the walkway there she would be angry with me for speaking at this this level she's very traditional um and it, it, it goes like, like i give you i'll tell you a couple of things that problems that are not problems but things that happen in my relationship park in my car you have to park with your wheels straight here. I'm not going to go into it. Ties do. They, you park your car and the wheels aren't straight. To, and you're in a shopping centre car park or a hospital car park. The security will tell you, like, they'll go like this, you know, blow the whistle or whatever, park your wheels straight. They do it. They, I know they do it because they have to move their cars around. But if you're parked in a parking bay and there's no need to move your car, you still have to park with your wheels straight. My wife will get out of the car. When I park it, she'll say, bad noon. Wait a moment. And she'll get out and she'll walk to the front and make sure the wheels are straight and that the car is parked straight. And that infuriates me. It infuriates because I'm going, what the hell? I'm under inspection. And it's culture. It's the way they are. You've just, you, there's a lot of things you have to accept. There's a lot of things you just have to accept when you're married to a Thai. And our family, and I went through all that before, um, are, they're a very nuclear family and none of them speak a word of English and uh, you know what you feel isolated I said that all before isolated but this is my life and what do I do I'll tell you what I do I have two computers here this one and this one that one's gone off there now I'll wake her up there you go and you can see that it's got the big picture El Panorama logo on that that's what I do my editing on that's what I do my online working on. I work online during the day um, and I do my YouTube. Well, I record my videos at night and when I have time during the day, I edit my videos. That's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me busy. I'm not in the position, you see, to sit back. I'm not in the position to be on a retirement visa because I don't have the funds to support to support myself if I don't do something. Um, so... I hope, please God, that when my retirement comes around, that I'll be able to rely on my non my not my contributory. I was going to say non contributory. I won't be able to rely on my non contributory Irish state pension because you have to live in the state to, to re redeem that. Uh, but my contributory contributory state pension I get when I'm sixty eight, I think it is, and I'll be able to put my feet up and relax, and maybe even maybe even change the visa I'm on from the old marriage. To the, when I say O visa, it's an O visa, non-immigrant. There's no marriage visa. There's no retirement visa. They're both O. It's they're all on, they're all on the same visa, the O visa, but they're different aspects of that visa. And um, but the only the, the, the as you know, the marriage visa is forty thousand baht per month income and or um, four hundred thousand baht deposit in a Thai bank account. Um, that is the visa that I have. But if I want to go for the retirement one, it's um, 800,000. It's double. It's double. I'm not in a position to do that. Um, sell me car and I might, but I'm not going to sell me car. But this is me. This is what I do. This is explaining to you how I'm affected by living in Thailand. And the thing that gets up my nose, you see, you might wonder, ask, like, why do I do YouTube? I do YouTube because I enjoy it and I get uh, I get rewarded financially for that. And uh, not as much as I'd like to because the big picture El Panorama is on its knees, 141,000 subscribers and I'm averaging 2,000 views per video and the Alpha Omega has 7,500 subscribers at the time I'm making this video and it's nearly doing as much if not more in terms of views. Yeah, I'll never understand YouTube, I'll never understand the algorithm um, but you just got to keep going. I always say keep going until the wheels fall off. But look, this is intended to share with you how life can be when you're married to a Thai woman. I, ma I made videos about, you know, this before, but not nothing like this. I never went into any personal aspects. But I can tell you, I'm extremely happy in where I am. Despite the fact that I get angry on videos and I rant and I rave about Thailand and the things that annoy me, but I'm extremely happy. And I'm extremely happy to be able to do YouTube. I'm so happy to be able to do YouTube. It is my life. It is my life. It is such a huge part of my life. And I never thought it would be possible.
But you see, I've turned what was a hobby into a career. And it really is, even though you don't get rewarded as much as you, 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 the potential is there. The potential is there. And that's what I'm aiming for. I'm beginning to really sweat. Look at this. That's what happens. I don't know if you can see that. That's what happens when you leave the fan off for a few moments. Um, and I said I'd done that because of recording this video. I hope you found this interesting. I really do. It's, um, you know, it's just a different, it, it's a different kind of video. And if you enjoyed this, or if you if you've been affected by any of the issues in this video, if if you are in a similar situation to me, how do you fill in your time? Are you married? Are you retired? Uh, how how is your relationship with your wife? How is your your relationship with her parents? Are you able to confide in your Thai wife? Are you able to touch base? You know, intimately in, in terms of emotional experience. Um, let me know. It's not me that I don't get that, but you know, you don't get. Every, it, nothing ticks all the boxes maybe some things do I don't know but nothing really does tick all the boxes but my my life in Thailand I'd say I've ticked maybe 80% of the boxes it does it for me and that's 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 enough well guys listen maybe that's enough for me for the moment and if you've enjoyed this make sure you click the like button the share button the subscribe button do all those wonderful things and make sure you let me know your experience and if i look i don't get back to all the comments because as i said i work online and i do youtube and i got two youtube channels and sometimes i don't have all that time to get back to as many comments as i'd like to but i endeavor to to put that uh, to right in the meantime guys make sure you come back enjoy it i hope you've enjoyed this and come back and see me again very very soon thanks for joining me